Hello everyone and welcome to this Archiman tutorial. This is part two in my how to animate Master Chief's first person hands for Halo Custom Edition. In this part I'll be showing you how to animate the model that we have imported into 3ds Max and I'll also be showing you how to export it and get it working in game. Now if this is the first time you've used 3ds Max you'll need Blit the Blitzkrieg which is the exporter for 3ds Max for Halo Custom Edition. Basically it exports JM JMS, JMA, and other file types that all have to do with the Halo engine. Basically there's a link in the sidebar. You can download it. Once it's downloaded you get the Blitzkrieg uh, zip file. Go ahead and extract it with WinRAW or Windows built-in um, extractor and go ahead and open it up and you can see that we have some DLL files and we have a DLE file now these DLL files these have to be placed in your system 32, uh, 32 folder so go start computer uh, C drive Windows uh, and scroll down until you get to system 32 and put the DLLs in there now if you're on a 64-bit um, operating system you will need to be putting the files in SysWile64. Um, so basically, I'm just going to open up SysWile64 because I am on a 64-bit operating system. I'm going to copy these DLL files and put them in here. I've already placed these files in here, so it is going to be asking me to replace them. If it asks you if it wants to replace the files, say no. Basically, you don't want to overwrite any files in your system 32 folder or 64 bit folder um, if it's set if they're already there then you don't have to worry about it just say no but usually the only there's only two of them that are there and the others have to go in there okay so now that we got them either in our system 32 folder or our syswell 64 folder I'm gonna close that and it's time to place our blitzkrieg.dle so I'm gonna go start computer C and like before, if you're on a 64-bit system, it's going to be in Program Files x86 um, because it's a 32-bit program. So I'll go to Autodesk, 3ds Max 8, and I'll go down to Plugins. Okay, now just go ahead and copy your Blitzkrieg.dle into the Plugins folder. Just put it in there. Close both these. We're done with this now and go ahead and open up 3ds Max alright now um, open up your save file so here is my Master Chief hands um, from the previous tutorial uh, the nodes are actually smaller um, but that's okay don't worry it's not like you missed a step I just imported them again because um, I didn't make a save file because uh, I got deleted but um, so they're just a little bit smaller, that's okay. There's nothing to be worried about if yours are bigger. Um, anyways, uh, it's time to learn to animate these hands so we can get uh, something custom into game. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a custom firing animation. Basically, whenever he fires the gun, the animation will be played. Um, as you can see, we have a blink uh, timeline for us to add some type of animation to. And let's go ahead and begin. So basically, you're going to be wanting, uh, going to, be wanting to select the bones and such and moving them to uh, animate them. So basically, what you're going to want to do is press the auto, uh, the auto key mode. So if you press that and you move it, that's going to be recorded as an animation. So I'm going to move mine down just a little bit, let's go like that, put that, oops, wait, undo that, I'm going to un-auto key that, as you can see I'm at zero, I should move myself to three or somewhere around there and then move it, so that it counts as an actual timeline event. Okay, I'm going to move it farther, move it farther. Move it farther. I'm going to move it back now. Like that. Just the best I can. Doesn't really matter because this is just a test here. I'm going to un auto key it. And as you can see, whenever uh, somebody fires, this animation will play. 
of course now this is not going to be a good animation for firing because it has nothing to do with firing but since this is just a tutorial I wanted to do something that would really really um, show and you could obviously tell that it was custom okay so now that we have created our animation uh, file I'm gonna just go ahead and save this and we're ready to export so just go to file go to export and find your Halo Custom Edition directory uh, it's usually at C program files Microsoft games Halo Custom Edition and I'll just get there via a shortcut and then go to data and right click and make a new folder and call it weapons go into weapons and make another folder and call it animations actually uh, we have to first we have to make the weapon folder so call it uh, AR underscore mod because it's a modified version then go in that and make a folder called animations go in there and call this AR underscore mod and then go ahead and just go dot JMA making it a animation file if you go down you can see we have the Blitzkrieg animation exporter and the Blitzkrieg model exporter you can see we have a bunch of different uh, file types but we don't gotta worry about those we're just uh, we're working with JMA today so AR underscore mod dot JMA so I'll go ahead and save it and as you can see it just saved and now I can close this and next I am gonna go ahead and open up tool um, now some people are confused about this I'm gonna open up my hail custom edition directory right here okay so I've, as everybody knows there's something called tool now tool is a console command based program which means there's no GUI graphical user interface which means the only way to access this program is with a command prompt window or a GUI you can download GUIs from halomaps.org but we're not going to use one of those because we're going to use the console commands. So basically, you can see that there is tool right here. But when we click on it, it opens and closes because we don't have a command uh, window. It's just a console command, so it opens and closes. So basically, we got to get command cmd.exe into the Halo Custom Edition folder, which can be found in the System 32 bit folder. Um, if you're running Vista or Windows 7, you simply type down CMD in the start, and you will see a program. You just right-click, and, uh, and you just go ahead and press copy, and then you paste it in here. Make a shortcut wherever you want, but you got to have a CMD.exe in the same directory as Tool. Anyways, I'm going to close that now and just go ahead, and you can see we have Tool open. And now, basically, what we want to do is type down Tool so it grabs the, the console program tool space animations um, and then we go space and now we're going to tell it the directory where we want it to go so weapons uh, backslash we go weapons backslash um, AR mod because that's where it is and uh, we go ahead and we press enter and it should build it says uh, don't worry about the couldn't read map file that's okay that is uh, that happens always. We got um, pound 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 space space ar underscore mod that jma uh, saved as zero bytes. Don't worry, it should be there. Uh, so I'm going to check out if make sure it's there. Tags, weapons, and we got ar mod. And here we have the ar mod dot models underscore animations. So it's here. So we don't got to worry. All right. Now it's time to use another program. Now we're going to be use Corman's uh, animation editor. Now, I'll be uploading this to Mega Upload because I got it. I don't remember where I got this version. And this version is actually different from the typical version on halomaps.org. And I do not know where to get the version that I have. What I do know is the version on halomaps.org for some reason does not work for me. But the one I have, which is like some kind of custom one or a newer one, actually works better. So I'll be, I'll be uploading this to Mega Upload. But I'll be putting in there as credits. But remember, Corman made.